Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff, another Just Fun tour, and I am so excited today. If you are like me, you are starting to get into that winter feeling. You kind of want the snow a little bit. You want to start doing those winter activities. It just, it, it makes you feel all warm and cozy inside, and that is exactly what we have found here on Thimble. We have found that wintry, cozy kind of town nestled in the woods, very rustic island, and I am so excited to visit the island of Thimble today. So, we are going to go ahead and check out our map. All right, there is a pretty big waterway in the back. I see some terraforming there's a few ramps i don't again the description for this island is it's um it's this village tucked within the woods a rustic little winter village so obviously we're not gonna have a set neighborhood it's gonna be all throughout the island which i absolutely adore let's go ahead and check out our villagers we have tasha there's shep eric there's B, there's Pashmina, Daisy, Lolly, Fang, there's Maple, and Chev. And of course, the dream address is down at the bottom. So if you want to come and explore this island with me, go ahead, type it in. Let's go. If not, save it for another time. It will also be in the description along with the creator's information. And that is Crossing With List. Go check them out on Instagram. Insanely talented. With that being said, let's get into Thimble. We all know coming out of the airport and looking at what you see is a pretty good indicator of what's coming in already. I'm excited. There's beautiful paths. There's little customs everywhere. The details are insane. Look at the little feet print all over here from the, and they're like hoof prints almost of the people putting up the sign for the sled and then there's a sled sitting here like this is just beautiful and everything that i am hoping for i am hoping for this just rustically beautiful winter but we need to head in to the island we have to head our way back to where resident services is where you came in because there were a pile of gifts but along the way of course we're gonna stop and look at the views look at these paths i love how they're not so dark dark brown because it's like they're covered in frost and snowy they're just mm -hmm. like perfect that is just so beautiful look at the little rocking horse and of course look there's skates i love the customs on every sign that's here they're just so pretty and then can we talk about the little snow angel in the ground with the little ears like it's a bear how adorable is that okay that is the cutest thing i've ever seen then you've got the little mittens on a string by the sled with tracks like every custom is just perfect on this island and of course we're passing by a villager's house so you know that we're gonna have to go ahead and stop in on our way back to resident services Oh, how beautiful. It's a rustic. I love, I love that we can do accent walls now. So now it looks like that big window looking out to the snowy woods outside, which is exactly what's outside the window. So that's like one of my favorite touches. And then you've got kind of all the old vintage furniture. It's got like a very cottage, country, rustic feeling to it. You've got the stockings hanging behind the fireplace. And again, there's something about this particular wall, and I know it's supposed to be kind of old, and it, but to me, it's like old farmhouse vintage amazing. Like, if I had that, I, I would keep that. It's beautiful. And can we talk about the little paw prints leading up to the door? Yes, please. All right, we need to... Yes, there is. There's a path leading back to resident services. There we are. Let's follow Maple. And that will get us there. 
because there are a pile of gifts down here. So I want to start down in this area. I'm going to go ahead, pick up the gifts, open them up, and then we will reconvene. All right, we have the faux shearling boots, which I am wearing. So obviously we have very similar taste. The snowy knit cap, is that the same one I'm wearing? I have no idea. Let's... Oh no, it's adorable. Oh, does that mean the boots match? Should we go for a whole vibe? Yup. Okay. Love that then. There's a knit hat, corduroy pants, a palm cask. I don't even know. Faux shearling coat. Is that the matching one? No, it's the exact same one we're wearing. I love that. We're going for a whole look. And then there's a snowy sweater along with a tree branch wand. So if you did not come dress prepared, they have you covered here on Thimble. And can we just, again, the customs on this island are so pretty. You've got the stairs leading down and then you have the additional stairs leading onto this like gravel sort of path that again is lightened in such a way that it feels like when you get up in the morning and everything is frost covered and it's got kind of that shimmer to it. I don't, I'm just loving it. But we are also conveniently at one of the main houses. So let's go inside and check it out. I love that it's a little cafe. I should have known that from the outside. There were obviously signs posted, but look at the little tables, the menu. It's just so cozy. And then you can watch the snow falling from outside. I love when the weather actually corresponds with what's happening on the wallpapers because that is so perfect. And the trees in the forest in behind, absolutely beautiful. Oh, and upstairs is like, it's like the apartment of the people that run the little cafe. They've got their little kitchenette area, their TV viewing area. Oh, look at the little coffee. Are they? I love the TV tray. That's the word I'm looking for with the little bed in the corner and the setup. Like, this is like the simplest little apartment, but it's so cozy and so cute. I love the wood plank floor. Is that the pirate floor? I believe it is, but it's so perfect with the big wide planks of wood. This is adorable. Downstairs looks like it hasn't been visited in a while. There's kind of an old bed in the corner with cobwebs around and the lights are kind of dark. So this is giving very much storage. All right, we are back outside and I just wanted to come up and down this little road section that we were on previously because yes, I I got a little um, kind of everywhere when I first got here and I knew that there was a house up here, but it goes to nowhere else. So I didn't want to miss the villager house and can we, I love this the path work cuts off and then it goes to these adorable little footprints in the snow leading to the house but this villager is also home so i don't want to miss that so let's go inside and see what they've done it's chef's house and again they've got i love this rustic Wallpaper, but can we talk about all the little customs? You've got the custom half wood paneling up the wall and the little door in the back. How adorable is that? Oh, so cute. Then you have the windows with the actual snow outside, which I love because it's so matching all the other windows that have. She's got her little artwork all over, but I love when people customize. The house is like that. That is so cute. This is so quiet. It's so country. It's so rustic, but it's everything you need. It's so perfect. All right, let's head. By the way, the views from over the bridge. Oh, there's two main houses right there. The views from over this bridge where you see the houses in the distance and the ducks and the little the bicycles like it's just so cute and it's it literally we barely like scratched the surface and it's everything i was looking for like i'm getting right into that very 
wintry feeling. I want to get outside. We don't have snow yet, but I'm hoping soon. But okay, we've got another main house. Um, by the way, can we talk about the custom on the stands? Like, how festive is that with, like, the holly and the lights? It almost feels like it's twinkling, but I do see... What do you call that? It's not a podium. Is it a podium? I don't... It's for music. I know that much. Um, so I'm guessing that's what this house has to chew with, but let's go inside and check it out. And I was correct. This is beau- it looks like where you're gonna come and you're gonna see an orchestra or a concert. It's like a music hall. Sometimes words elude me, but music hall is the one I was going for. That's so pretty. It's so simply done, but I love the curtain wall. I love the lights. And you can come in and watch a show. Oh, you can watch like a Christmas play on here or come and hear all the Christmas music or holiday music, festival, festive music, whichever you choose. Let's go upstairs. Check it out. Oh, this is like a dressing room. You've got all, and I love the antique furniture. You've got the clothes rack set up, the couches. Oh, the flowers, because they always bring you flowers before like a concert, right? Got the flowers set up, but you've got all these tables for getting dressed in, getting ready for the plays or the shows or the concerts. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. That is just so pretty. And here we are just by the bridge and the little ducks playing around in the little park and the frozen pond. And you can sit and watch them and feed them. Like, this is adorable. I'm following the signs and we're heading out to the train tracks. And I love the crossing over the train tracks. How cute is that? Can we follow the train tracks? You can follow the train tracks. Do I wanna go all the way down or do I wanna... Do I go up? Do I go down? Do I go around? Like the signs are telling me go this way. Like do I go up and around the island? This is a lot of the uh, villager housing and this one is not home, but look at the little feet prints in the snow and the little p frozen puddle underneath the water pump. It's all about the little details i'm telling you they make it but we have two of the villager houses they're not home so i think i want to go kind of around where the train tracks are can i go down from the train tracks no that comes to an end because all of the um beaches are blocked off this is not a not a beachy island this is a oh this is so cute Look at the ducks on top of the farm. I, again, sorry. I get ahead of myself. This is not a beachy town. It's a very rustic country village in the, it's like forested and, oh, it's perfect. And it's making me all warm and cozy. <laughs> but sorry, sometimes I get just way ahead of myself and I get excited, but I'm, I don't know. They're, we all know I love a good barn and the little ducks sitting on the top is just like the cutest little detail and then you've got like the little mill over here and can you work it you can work it it's interactive and i love the little laundry spot where you can do the laundry with the chair and then you've got the bin out front i don't this is so cute this is like the most old-fashioned village and it's so perfect oh you've got the little ducks over here too big open field that's kind of empty-ish because, you know, it's that time of year. You've got the hay bales set up, though, and the, I love all the little paw prints everywhere. It's like the cutest little thing, and then you've got the laundry drying over here and somebody folding it, putting it up. Oh, this is too cute. The, oh, and then you've got, like, a, li a little outhouse and a bucket of water. You can't do anything with the water, right? I don't know why I got excited about the little outhouse, but it's so cute. <laughs> then the windmills. This is so perfect, and it's getting, like, the actual warm and fuzzy feelings that I'm having right now. Beyond explanation. 
Then of course you've got this beautiful pathwork leading over here. Oh, there's a gate over here as well. There's Mabel, there's more of these adorable little snow angels with the ears. I bet you it was Maple. Maple was making the little snow angels. Then you've got all the tracks in the snow from people playing in it. I'm gonna follow the signs. Is this where we came? Okay, this is where we came in. Perfect. Following the signs, we did not miss that house. But I mean, how cute. I'm obsessed with the customs. It just, it feels like you're playing outside on a snowy day. I love it. And through the gate. Oh, and there's more farmyard. I love, love. Oh, we can, can we get onto a, oh, one of the island residents. Let's say hello. Chestnut says, welcome. Thank you for having us. It's so much fun and I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, this is where they have put Nook's Cranny. I was going to say, I don't think, oh, and villagers. Yeah, I didn't think that the beaches were for anything else. It's just open in this area because, you know, you got to get to Nook's. I love the little well and the water and the feet prints. I'm telling you, the customs on this island are adorable. Can I get in here? I can. I love. I saw this on the map. Oh my goodness, there's sled dogs pulling them. Logs. How cute is the custom behind it, too? You've got the little tracks and then the additional little sleigh beds that they're pulling with the logs. That is adorable. Oh my goodness. This little area sums it up for me. <laughs> it's just rustic. You've got like this old farm cabin -y in the back. You've got the fields in the front. You've got the sled dogs. Oh my goodness. The cuteness overload right now. I love that. And then you head up and you've got the old farmhouse sitting here. I love, love love the simple panels because you can customize them so well and that is so perfect with the curtains and then you've got that big like I don't know sandstony looking rock that they would use in the house and then you've got the I believe those are the plant partitions on the top and it just so perfect it looks like it's a moss covered roof this is absolute perfection and then heading back into their fields obviously for their farm. Oh, it's all coming together for me and I'm loving it. Heading back over in this direction. We're back onto this like pebbly type road and I see Shep walking around and I see another. Oh, are you on the other side of the fence? I see Lolly and another one of the owners of the island, but they're out trekking by the water. So we're going to go ahead and let them do that. We have more villager housing. This villager, unfortunately, is not home, but they have left their mittens out in the snow. But it does look like this one is home, so let's go inside and check it out. It is Eric's house, and I adore Eric. He is my great white buffalo. I've yet to ever see him on any villager hunt, and I have been on so many. I adore him, though, and I adore his little cabin that he's living in. Oh, I love his little stained glass lamps up top, the wood walls. He's got his little kitchen bar area set up. And then his desk is bed and his fireplace. Like, what else do you need? This is a perfect little cabin, perfect little getaway in the country. I absolutely adore it. Back out into Thistle and again. Oh, you have like a little sled rental over here. Oh, look at the boots. And then you have the sleds. And the little customs with the footprints everywhere. And then of course the little details like the bridges and the waters and the what Like how beautiful is that? Literally gorgeous. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything in here. I'm just checking the map because I do see up top. I'm pretty sure, yes, it's just kind of natural looking. Oh, but this is where the entrance to the secret beach is. So we did find the secret beach. 
And it's where they have been pulling the sleds or toboggans from up by the water. And you see the tracks. Going back over and again. I love this. This is like my favorite custom with all the little feet prints you can tell people have been playing out in the snow. It's just adorable and leads us to another little country cabin home, which is just so peaceful and nestled in and amongst all the trees. And it's just adorable. Oh, and this is where it leads you from. The, we saw these train tracks. Yes. Okay. We were already past here. This is where the other set of train tracks go. So really from every direction that you come at this island, you're able to ex access everything, which I absolutely adore. More sleds pulling things going to more villager houses and yards, and they are not home, unfortunately. And this is the other villager houses where we were. Like I said, everything is connecting, so it doesn't really matter at what way that you come through, you're still going to find everything, and I love that. Up and over, perfect view. I kind of, I love double bridges and I love waterfalls, but I kind of love how this is off set a little bit. It's almost like a postcard. So pretty. And then we have another villager house and look at their cute little pathwork here. Their little lantern that's on is adorable. Cause you can actually see the ring of light, their laundry. Let's go inside, check out the house. It's another perfect cabin in the woods. I love it. Just simple. This feels cottage-like. That's the word I'm looking for. I keep calling them cabins. And they are cabins. And that's what a cottage is. But it's got like that I'm going to the cottage feeling. With the little simple furniture. The little bed. You've got your little wood stove with the tea or coffee heating on top. Like it's just so simple. So perfect. I almost want to spend a holiday in a little tiny cabin like that. Like, how perfect would that be? Surrounded by the snow and the tr Like, so perfect. I love it. Again, little details like the buckets and the frozen water by the boots that have been left outside because they're probably wet. Just too cute. This little camping area over here, how adorable. And you can see that they've been working hard on setting up the tent because of all the footprints out front. Now what is up here? We have another main house. I love that, but I'm not sure what this one, well, I don't know. There's a suitcase out front and some rocking chairs. So I, I don't know, let's go inside and check it out. Is this like an inn, a bed and breakfast, a tea house? I don't know, but it's just so quick. I don't know. It feels like, I don't know. They've got the, how many times can I say, I don't know. <laughs> they have the train tracks running through town. So I feel like maybe an inn or a bed and breakfast. It's so rustic, so pretty. It's like something you see in a little movie. Can I ease my way through here again? Let's go check it out. This is the little kitchen area. You've got the little muffins set up. Oh, is that like a cookbook on the table? I'm kind of hoping it is. And then the ironing. I love that. You've got the coffee or tea on in the back. So it's just a little rustic country kitchen. One of the bedrooms or it's like the rooms that you stay in. I don't know. It's got like um very much so like bed and breakfast feel to it. Very country bed and breakfast because you've got like your own personal seating area and your desk, your bed. But it feels like you can come spend some time here. You can do your laundry. Do your ironing. I don't know. It's just like the cutest little country inn. It's 
that the word I'm looking for? I think so. But it's just so cute. And then you have another room. Again, this one has two beds, but another seating area. Oh, an area to sew. I love that. And then the suitcase up top. So I'm going to... I'm doubling down. This is definitely an inn, a bed and breakfast, and it's so perfect, and I want to come stay here. This island is just getting me ready for the sea. Like, I'm so pumped for this season, and this island is perfection. Upstairs. Again, a nice... I don't know if this is, like, where the owners of the house stay, but it's so... It's so elegant and perfect. It's just, again, like I said, you feel like you're stepping back in time just enough on this island. Like, there's no major amenities. There's no cars and traffic. It's just this perfect little nostalgic step back in time. And it it's perfect. So perfect. Back out and down and up. In what direction can we go? This is, can we go this way? I don't know if we're meant to go this way. There are stairs leading that way, but there's also a ramp leading this way. And this is the campsite. Okay, I was wondering when we were going to come to the campsite. And it's right here. Let's start the fire for them. You can see their little footprints going in. And they've left their mittens outside. The, again, the customs on this island literally make it you gonna follow the path oh and it brings us down kind of to were we here already no we've got another oh it's chestnut again we did say hello to chestnut but it brings us to another villager yard and they've got the tracks leading to the door they are not here but it looks i don't know it feels very woodcutter because of all the logs and stumps and the, look at the, I love the sleds pulling all the wood because obviously this is how we are heating houses here on Thimble. We are wood powered because this is a simpler little place. I love, oh, I love how natural and beautiful and tucked into the woods. The customs are phenomenal. You can literally get everywhere from everywhere. It's just absolute perfection and it gets me all warm and fuzzy and it gets me excited for this season and it is exactly what I was looking for hoping for and I'm so thankful that we got to come and tour Thimble today I'm gonna go ahead though and my tour here I want to thank you guys though so 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 much for coming along and touring with me I had an absolutely amazing time. It's so beautiful. Come check it out for yourself. Come get a close up of all these customs. They are so, they make it. They make it so perfect. It's wonderful. I want to thank you though, guys, again, for coming along with me. If you enjoyed it as much as I did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you so, so much for your likes, your shares, your comments. I love it. I love seeing them. I love reading them. Thank you guys so much. And as always, you know, I'm going to be back with more Animal Crossing videos.